Hi, welcome to Weekly Reflections. I'm Nancy Joy. Uh, I, I want to title this The Event Within <laughs> because there is so much going on <clears throat> on the internet now uh, about what's coming up. It's, some of it's uh, uh, instant wonderful transformation, absolutely prosperity packages, wow. And some of it's Comet Ison's coming. It could do this, it could do that. There's an event, an event, big thing on November 28th. Something's going to happen. Sound familiar? Sound familiar with the comets <laughs> coming around again? Um, it, it again, it, it cycles, it cycles. Uh, and yet, um, I always think comets are harbingers, harbingers and messengers. I, I don't think it's the comet hitting the earth or the destruction or the magnetic field. But to me, in my heart, uh, when I first saw Halley's Comet <laughs> with my dad when I was a little girl, that's uh, the first magic I felt in the stars. I thought, it's for me. I just, I don't know, I was floating down there and I thought, wow, that's for me somehow. So it's always stuck with the comet thing. But, uh, you know, I, I've really come to an Ezekiel has told me over and over again that the event will be within. And then I uh, ran across what I considered an amazing interview um, by Elizabeth Whitney with Cobra, who's a Pleiadian here on Earth helping us to make the shift and transition, um, holding that space, if you will, and providing excellent information. So uh, I have the link to that on my written portion if you get my email. If you don't, sign up on my website um, because it was a very, very wonderful interview. Anyway, a quote from that interview talking about the event, which uh, COBRA validates there is an event, um, to wake up humanity. But, but listen to this. Elizabeth says, so the event, which we can begin to talk about now, really is the clearing of resistance that is within us through these implants and through the programming, through the uh, mind control, to even imagine that this kind of scale of operation uh, that we could be ready for it emotionally. It's almost an evolution of our consciousness, she says. And then she asks, is this not right? And of course, it's exactly right. Uh, it is the event within. So uh, as you read all the things coming up, and, and, and I do a search. It's Thanksgiving week. There's a lot to be in gratitude for. Um, and who knows? You know, everything's up in the air. No one can really predict what exactly is going to happen. But what can be predicted is the event within. There will be a mass awakening of human consciousness. Think about it. There's no other thing that can possibly make sense to shift all of this because if, you know, we like workers get it and the people who get it get it and that's all fine and good. Uh, but the mass, you know, you're out there in the world, and the mass of people, they don't, they don't get it. They don't understand it. They, they really think Republicans and Democrats are two group of people who firmly believe in something and they're fighting against each other. And they believe the propaganda that we've always been fed. So it makes sense to think that there is something that will create a mass awakening. And um, I feel the mass awakening in the event that we're all expecting and wondering, will it be three days of darkness? Will the poles shift? Will uh, the magnetic field collapse? Will the world economy collapse and all of this? I, I don't know any of that. Those are illusory things out there that are all potentials. Um, but no matter how they happen, if they happen, when they happen, or if they never happen, uh, the very belief or consciousness of considering them and knowing about such alternatives is creating a template, a matrix in which the awakening can occur. And, you know, I think biblically it hits the nail on the head and, and we, we call it um, transformation or ascension really in this kind of spiritual field that we're in. Um, the Christians uh, have that word, Oh, I can't think of it where the ones who believe are disappear and the other ones are left. And my mind is blank. But anyway, you all know what I mean. It, it is a metaphor in most civilizations for a major transformation, certainly in the Mayans, the Egyptians, and, and so on. So, you know, what we're really in store for um, is, is very interesting. It's the awakening of the masses. That's what we're in store for. And that is what 
changes us and allows us to create all these wonderful things we've all known and been dreaming of and are ready for and are manifesting as God creators on earth. So it's a very exciting time, whatever way you think of it. Uh, check out my last two reflections and you can learn where, where you you hadn't you block this it's like afraid to be afraid was two weeks ago and the shadow patterns which was last week which really addresses uh, how we awakened ones who already are awake <laughs> are processing through um, the shift as it's going on inside of us so I say expect great things and be very very excited the other thing I quickly want to bring up um, is that there is a every Sunday a worldwide meditation uh, through this group and hold on because I have to bring up uh, prepare for change that's their website prepare for change and they have a beautiful uh, every Sunday different times in Iowa it's two o'clock to participate in changing the world and it's wonderful. Each week I can feel the energy build and build. So the link is below uh, in my written portion and on YouTube I should have it posted. And But the website is uh, prepareforchange.com. It's a great website, very interesting. So I hope in your thanksgiving and in your gratitude uh, you'll at least give this meditation a try. It's a wave and so many more people are joining and perhaps you will too. So have a great week and uh, embrace the event within. Talk to you next week. Bye.